everybody welcome thank you for joining today I am doing a tutorial on how to make these tassels um, with the beads on here I was doing a live with my friend Cheeky's uh, Chiquita's crochet on YouTube here on YouTube and I had shared this uh, tassel and Cheeky's and another uh, friend <clears throat> excuse me uh, asked how to make one of these so I said I would put a tutorial together and I'm gonna apologize right now um, I'm not the best of the teachers um, I'm not a I'm not a really good teacher so I will try my best in explaining so as you can see I made several tassels um, two attempts in recording I did this one I was not in view I, I didn't you guys weren't even able to see what I was doing so sorry on my part but look how cute this watermelon tassel came out that was pretty cool that I'm in a swap um, and I'm using fruit so I was able to make this tassel so I'm done with one and I thought that was really cool how I made this uh, red and green yarn and then I added black beads as in the seeds for the watermelon and then I had and then I had this cute red and green bead that I put in the middle and then I just added this charm that I had purchased from I think it's happy happy planner or something I don't know I can't remember now her name but she sells on Instagram charms and beads and whatnot so I had picked up some of those I wanted to use those and so this is the tassel I made in the first video that I wasn't able to use. And then I made this one. <laughs> also was not in view. I don't know. I'm telling you, I'm not a really good teacher. I wasn't really paying attention. And yeah, so I recorded two videos, had to delete them. And I just made this one. And I thought this was really cute um, using the clear beads and a yellow one and then I added a bow I wish I had a lemon charm but I don't so I just used this bow charm which I thought was really really pretty added it on here so that's good and then I just made this one just for kicks I wasn't recording I just made it um, I thought this came out so pretty isn't it doesn't it look so elegant I love it I just didn't add a lobster clasp yet to it and then I was gonna ding hang some charms here but I haven't finished so I'll do that in another time so let's get with the tutorial before I make this video extra extra long so I will show you real quick how I make a tassel um, there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to make tassels but I'll just make one really quick and I forgot to explain the um, tools that I will be using so I'll be using these tools not all of them but if you don't have these, um, look at look at Michaels. This is where I got my set. It's a jewelry making set. Comes with a little pokey tool and then uh, these little um, I don't know what you call these uh, pinchers. And then I guess these are supposed to be for the beads. But I don't use them for jewelry making, like the little small beads or anything. I just needed them for this kind of stuff. I I had this already for eight years maybe I want to say and I'm not sure if it was $7.99 I paid for it or $14.99 uh, either way I used a coupon I think it was a 50 or 60 percent off coupon so that's why it was a really good deal and I got all these tools for them with that with that whole set and um, you're also going to need wire. I'm using a 24 gauge wire. Um, I'm using that for the purpose of being able to string my beads through the tassel. Um, I think this is the short one. I had a longer, oh here it is. Here's a longer one. So you want to cut like a long, um, a long wire fold it in half because you're going to use that to uh, string your yarn through the bead. Now let me cut this so it could be even. I don't like it uneven. So 
here is a um, this is my template I made this template it's out of cereal box I cut it it doesn't have to be a certain size it's just the length that I like as a tassel so as you can see um, I make my tassels here and then I I cut about that much for it to be all even just so you guys can get as an example here see this is about how much I cut to make it all even but this is the template I use I um, mm, I didn't run it through what is it that laminating I have laminating sheets that you don't need to use heat I bought a whole stack of them I think there were like a hundred of them in a yard sale so many years ago and so I don't need the the laminating uh, machine but anyways I laminated it so it could be sturdy and this is my template that I use so I use this for my tassels and then I use this way for my pom-poms so I use this as my pom-pom and my tassel um, template so this is how you make a tassel you just go ahead and wrap it all around this is how I do it so like I said there's so many um, tutorials out there on how to make tassels your preference on how chunky you want it um, if you want it thin you want it extra extra chunky then that's then that's your prerogative that's what you like it's all about what you like so me I like it in the middle I don't like them too chunky and I don't like them too chintzy either too thin so here I just cut at the end here now to you want a long you want a long uh, piece of yarn here on the top when you tie it because you're gonna um, what's it called weave or thread oh, that's what the word thread your beads through the top of your tassel so you want a long one you don't want it to be short you run it through here so you put it through the middle here I want it to be even And again, I'm not the best of the teachers, people. I don't, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> There's some people who were born able to teach and go slow and I'm trying. So you just want to knot it. And that's what I do. I usually do it twice. And then you want to take it out of your template and here at the bottom you're going to oh I'm supposed to tie the little loopy here so you want another long piece not too long not too short you don't want it short it's better to to have it long and you can cut it than to have it short and you can't make it longer so just want to tie it wherever you want it doesn't have to be a certain measurement or anything like that I don't like them too uh, long so that's why I like it on the top part that's just my preference everybody has their own there is no right way or wrong way to make a tassel it's whatever you want it's your craft it's your project you do what you want so you grab the middle here okay and you're gonna cut the ends see beautiful and there you go and now you're gonna pretend you're a hairdresser and you're gonna cut the ends to make them all nice and even 
So here's your hairdressing skills for five seconds. And there you go. Make sure you don't cut yourself because I've done that plenty of times. <clears throat> and that's what I do. I just do that. It's just like cutting hair. Keep moving it, making sure you got it all even. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. It's just however you are want it. But that's me. I'm always trying to make things perfect, perfect. I need to let that go. Okay, so here we go. Here is my white tassel. I haven't made a white tassel, so that's why I wanted to use this color so I can show you guys. Now, why is there like more than one? Uh, hello? Why did you escape? Oh, this one I did not get. Okay, well, let's see if it can thread it through. You know what? I'm going to use the wire. That short one? That's a long one. Let's see if we can thread it through without ruining it. Mm. I got it. Yes. There we go. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, did I get the wrong one? <laughs> Please don't make me go through this video again. I really don't want to. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let me get the beads that I'm going to be used. I should have done that. All right, I am back. I found some beads that I want to use. First, I was going to use black and purple, but then I decided to go with maybe like a 80s theme. You know, look at these. Oh, oh no, don't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a hot orange um hot orange yeah right hot pink hot orange lime uh hot green and a hot orange so let's do those and uh where is my wire here it is all right so what you're going to do is uh like i said get a long piece of wire you want to fold it in half okay and you're going to put it at the, um, near the end of your tassel. And you want to get your bead that you're going to use. And you want to string it through. Okay? Good thing that these beads have a wide enough opening. Because when you have yarn that's a little thicker and you have small beads. Or I mean, I'm, I should say beads that have a small opening like let's say oh no this one's pretty big i don't know the beads i have i really don't have that many large ones i have so many tiny ones and i'm gonna have to trade with somebody i'm gonna have to ask somebody if they want to do a swap with me small beads and i get big bigger beads because i need big beads like these um with a bigger opening because the beads i have are so small and the openings are so small and I can't really oh I'm just doing it without even showing you guys okay so that's what you're doing is just putting um, the yarn through the wire and then you're just gonna thread it through it's simple just thread it right through okay I'm wondering if I should get another one. Use four instead of just three. Um, hmm. I don't know. I really don't have. See, those are small. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't have any. Uh, I'm just gonna use these. So that um, you're gonna thread those through the three beads, okay? And you're also gonna need jump rings. I guess I should have said that in the beginning. I'm telling you, I'm a really bad tutorial maker. I, that is not really my forte. I'm not really good at teaching. I get fired at my teaching job when I. Okay, this will. Let me. Or maybe I should use a hot pink. Maybe I'll use a hot pink one. Yeah, let's make some fun. So what you would do is get your ring, run it through, okay? Let me close this. Now here you go. You run it through, okay? You have your jump ring like that. Now, you're going to get your yarn with your wire and you're going to go over the jump ring but through the bead. You're going to go right through it again. And sometimes you need to use your pliers to run this through but I didn't need to right now. So what I do is I take this off I just pull it through with my fingers, with my hands here. Okay. Now you're going to pull it through the second bead. I don't know why I keep going over here. The second bead over here. I'm going to do the same thing. Put the yarn through the wire gonna go through your second bead. I'm gonna push that through. Okay. Now you're gonna do it again to the third bead. Here we go. And there you go. Beautiful. It's nice when you got the beads that have a large opening so that way you can thread them through. And you just want to tighten it. Okay? Not too tight. Oh my goodness, this wires. So you want to pull this through. If you've got a stronger jump ring, you won't have a problem. Me, because it's Emily, that's why there was a problem. Okay. So there we go. Now you thread, you threaded the top of this from, to the, through the first bead, the second bead, and the third bead. And now you're at the bottom. See? And now you can tie it off right here, like so. Really t tight knot so it doesn't unravel. There you go. And you're done. There you go. You just clip off the excess. Like so. And then there you go. You got your bead tassel there. And you could decorate it however you want. Why does it look a little wonkies? Now for me, um, I like to add an extra charm, or I mean an extra an extra 
jump ring on here. Okay. So that's one. And then I'm going to get another one. And I'm going to try to find a charm that'll go with this. Let's see. What can go with these? These are this is this is cute. Should I do heart? Mm, or flower. Let's do a pink flower. I got a pink flower. Or an ice cream. Do an ice cream cone. This was a freebie from Evelyn's um, bead craft chick. She has a shop and she gave me a freebie. A little freebie uh, ice cream cone. So maybe I'll use that one. Yeah, that looks more summerish. Right? So let's do that. Even though this is gold, but oh well. Can't be particular, especially on a video. And there we go. Just close it up. And then I need to find a lobster clasp. See, look, it dangles. So let's find a lobster clasp. Where are those? No, wrong one. Is it it? Oh, it's the wrong one. Mm. Where are they? Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Right here. I wish I had a, um, I might need another one. through there and then put this through there there tighten this up a little I don't like them to be a lit. I don't like them to be loose. It's a little tighter. Well, I can't grab it. Come on. There we go. Yeah. See? Cute, guys. I like it. Look at that with a little ice cream. And then I just got to put something here. Which I have. Uh, let me get it for. Let me get this. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I found a cabochon ice cream that I had bought in um, one of those sales on Instagram. I think it was, like I said, happy planner. Happy... I don't know. Her name's Lisa. I can't remember her name on the chat on her Instagram. But anyways, this matches its ice cream theme, so put it right here. Yeah, put it right there. I think it'll look so cute on there. I'm gonna have so many tassels now. Good thing that I'm in a swap I can give those away in the swap so isn't that cute oh my goodness how adorable I love it I don't know I hope you guys were able to learn how to make these um, just rewind the video like I do when I'm watching a tutorial 
Isn't that cute? Oh, this is so cute. I love it. I love it. It's so summery. It's white. It's got this ice cream on here and then these hot uh, pink, orange, and green colors. And this dangle, or I mean this charm hanging here. That's an ice cream charm. Cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you were able to learn how to make these um, bead dangles. So many different kinds, colors, and I have to find somebody who's going to want to um, trade, you know, exchange beads with me, small beads for big beads like this, because I don't really have that many big beads. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you were able to learn how to make these. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Have, uh, have a good evening. And God bless. Bye.